And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Real Madrid facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of midfield. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. And Barca's corner. Yeah. Elects to go short. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. And that'll be a Barca throw. Cuts in from the flank. De Jong... Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, they do like to press whenever they can. Vinicius Junior. Real Madrid have given it away. De Jong. in this season's UEFA Champions League final. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? So Real restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find an equaliser? Tony Kroos and Valverde. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Well, it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Fatih. This is Robert Lewandowski. Could be a chance to break here. But quick thinking defensively. So inching towards half-time and Barca with the lead. Stuart, what strikes you about what they've put into the first half? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack and they've controlled them. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. And fired over by Kors. Not away completely. Kors. Is with Vinicius Junior. Benzema! Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? 
Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. So, one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Fatih. This is Robert Lewandowski. So, the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Carvajal. Attending to his defensive chores. Rafinha De Jong Very quick thinking there Eduardo Camavinga The ball with Luka Modric Vinicius Junior A very timely interception Might jump in front in to give them the lead in the final the stuff that dreams are made of well let's look at that again i'm almost lost for words here derek it's really sloppy defending you can't be giving the ball away in such a dangerous area like that and not expect to get punished it's just really poor so the ball rolling again can Barca bite back here? Frankie de Jong. Sergio Busquets. Lewandowski. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Tony Kroos. Modric in position well I think you could call that an escape it looked a certain goal De Jong well doesn't have to do it on his own Vinicius Junior course surely well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Pedri well on the attack hunting for a late equaliser here this could be the equaliser and it is the equaliser Late drama here, and no wonder they're celebrating. Remarkable. Well, here's the replay. The little one-two starts everything off, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. is running again at 2-0 Modric at this late stage Real Madrid doing everything in their power to grab a winner Benzema 
Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Safe pair of hands did his job. Fatih. And we will have just one additional minute. Rafinha. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. So away they go again, the first period of extra time and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Can he apply the finish? Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. Oh, off the post, still alive. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. Plenty of support here. Tempele. Will he find the net? And he struck the post. And clears the danger. Federico Valverde and just one minute of time added on for stoppages Asensio in possession to give them the lead maybe and a goal to delight the fans just what they were hoping for Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. The first period of extra time is over. 15 minutes left. Maybe after that, penalties, we'll see. Well, on they go. Second period of extra time is underway. Dembele. Now Busquets. And back for Dembele. An incisive pass. He's trying to create something. Oh, he saved it well. Modric. Here is Marco Asensio. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Good pressure high up the pitch. Vinicius. Rafinha. Lewandowski now. Given the circumstances, Barcelona have got to go for it. Time is against them here. Oh, surely! In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently.
Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. And it has all come down to this in the Champions League final. A shootout to determine the winners. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. And that's how to take a penalty low and into the back of the net. Low and accurate, that penalty. And he steps up to take his penalty. And there it is, perfectly executed. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. He's gambled on direction and won. And he scores. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. He had to score and he does. Well, that was the so-called Panenka, but when it doesn't work out, oh dear, a goal here to finish it. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Real Madrid. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.